Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we are going to talk about how to get customers. So if you have a company, a business, anything, even a side hustle, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hope you enjoy it. We've been doing this for over five years solid. Have not missed one week, which is crazy. But go back. You got hours and hours, hundreds of hours of content. Anywhere podcasts are found. And of course, also on YouTube, if you are a YouTuber watcher person. If you are not new here and you've been to these, you love them, you've thumbsed up the videos on YouTube, you've left a review, but more importantly, shameless plug alert, more importantly, you put your orders in with me, well, what's up? It is because of you that I get to uh, do this every single week um, and uh, basically babble for 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, that's how I exist. So thank you to everybody who lets me put orders in for you. And if you didn't know, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. That's window cleaning resource. Uh, so if you need any type of window cleaning supplies, which you all do, right? The thousands and thousands and thousands of you that listen every single week need supplies. I'm here for you. I want to put your orders in. I want to put all of them in. So please let me put your orders in. <laughs> My number is 862-312-2026. It is literally as simple as you just shooting me a text being like, yo, Jersey, everything is in my cart. As long as you're logged in, I got the rest of it. I'll tell you, sweet, I'll send it to your address. Fill in the blank. Thank you. It is that easy. One text and the order is in. And I get credit for it and it costs you nothing extra. Not one penny more. In fact, if there's anything that I see in the order that could be changed, I'd even let you know. So I save people money. And if you uh, mention it, which I'm looking at my board, I don't actually have any new stickers. The new stickers here, if you want any of the limited edition one, uh, there is version one. There is version two hidden back there. Version three is now out. Um, Just be like, yo, hit me with a sticker. Uh, let me know and I'll get you a new cool kid sticker because you want to be one of the cool kids, right? Speaking of cool kids, the American Window Cleaner Magazine, as most of these are upside down, go to awcmag.com, get a subscription to the magazine because you are amazing, because you're watching a podcast on window cleaning, why not get a magazine? Yes, a paper magazine that you can read, articles, pictures. It's just super dope, and it helps me out. So go and get your subscription. Go to awcmag.com and get a subscription because that would be super rad, super duper rad. Anyway, okay, shameless plugs all done. Today we're actually talking all about how to get customers. How to get customers. Not where to get customers. Not what are the right words to say. None of that. I'm literally trying to mute my my thing right now. Sorry. None of that. No. What you're actually going to hear about or talk about today is the how you go about getting customers. Now, if you're listening to this when it is just come out, it is July now. So we're starting to see the little summer slowdown, but fall's coming up. Fall is the second busiest season in window cleaning, if you didn't know. Summer may slow down just a hair, but this year it seems like it's kind of pushing through pretty hard. Right? But we're always, always, always looking for customers because eventually our customers slow down. Eventually, we may want to get bigger. And if you're the type of person who says, you know what, I am to where I want to be. I don't ever want to be bigger than I am right now. I don't ever want anything more than this. I'm very content and happy. Awesome. But you're always going to be stronger than you were, right? So you have some customers that just suck. And you're going to get rid of those customers or they're going to die or move. And you're always going to have to still get new customers even if it's on a different level. And that's what we're talking about. I want to talk about the how you get customers. And it sounds kind of weird, eh, not even weird. You understand it, it's just not something that you probably really um, have thought about on this level. 
but there's a certain way to kind of find who and what you're talking to. We've talked about avatars, right? That's your perfect customer. We've talked about um, um, we've talked about our USP. Uh, what makes us different? I really, really, really want you to think when you're talking about marketing or the sales side of it. I want you to think about why I would pick your company over nine other companies if you couldn't say anything about price. Don't sell me on price right? Why am I choosing you? Why am I choosing you over somebody else? That's your USP. But the first part about this, how to get customers, falls back to knowing who you're talking to. Who are you trying to sell? The biggest problem in customers in general, in, in, in anything business, is that people look at it as though well, I want everybody. I would never turn anybody. No, you would never turn anybody away if it's a good job, a good lead, a good customer. You'd never. You want everybody, hypothetically, right? But I need to know who the biggest draw is. If I sell Corvettes, who am I selling it to? Think about right now, in your head, who buys Corvettes? For the most part, I, this is probably cliche, but for the most part, it is 65-year-old midlife crisis men that buy Corvettes. Are there women that buy Corvettes? Yes. Are there 30-year-olds that buy Corvettes? Yes. But what's the majority of people who buy Corvettes? Right? That's what you need to think about. It's not somebody who is ultra luxury, those people are buying different cars, not Corvettes, right? Corvette's kind of like a, uh, an everyman sport car, sports car, you know? But think about that person. Maybe they're wearing white, uh, what are those uh, shoes? New Balances, you know, the ones that people mow their lawn in, <laughs> right? Maybe they're wearing jean shorts. They're doing all right and they're finally treating themselves, right? You know who buys a Corvette? Even though anybody and everybody buys a Corvette. There may be, there, there probably is, 20-year-old women out there who own Corvettes, but that's not their target market. So a big thing for what you need to do for you is think about who you're selling to. I know it's everybody. And I know that it's sometimes it's women and sometimes it's men and then sometimes it's, you know, old people and sometimes it's young people and sometimes it's apartments and sometimes it's townhouses and sometimes it's houses and commer I know that. But we're trying to find where the biggest impact is, the, the biggest bang for our buck is. And here's the real reason. If you know who you're talking to, you can tailor absolutely everything to that. Now, if I start doing a um, uh, an ad, right, and my ad has uh, a, a family, right, a bunch of really happy kids all playing, maybe we're walking through the park, right, and my ad says, we give you free time back to spend with your family, or spend more time with the family, less time cleaning, we'll take care of that, right? And it's a family that's there. The guy's kind of standing behind the family and the wife is with the two kids, you know, and the whole family's happy. There's a dog and a picket fence. And Now, I've painted a picture to the typical demographic in our market, who our avatar is. By the way, you have to know who you're talking to, right? You know your avatar. But now, maybe you're not a, you know, middle-aged woman with two and a half kids, a dog, and a white fence. Maybe you're not a stay-at-home mom, you know, but that's my main target market, my main avatar. But you look at that ad and you're like, this is a good ad. I need windows done, right? It still sells to the people it's not targeted to, but the biggest impact is for the people that are the most likely to hire me, the most likely for me to make a giant impact with, get the most out of my ad. That's just the truth. 
right? So we're tailoring our ads to that person. We're tailoring it to the person who's going to get the most out of it. That's the who. Who are you talking to? And it looks different for everybody. I could tell you the age. I could tell you the sports that they like. I could tell you how many animals they have and what type they have. And I could tell you I more than likely have never seen the husband because he works a lot. And I'm there during the day. I could tell you all that stuff. Because I know who my avatar is. It does not mean that there aren't stay-at-home husbands that I do work for. It does not mean that there are people who both work out of the house that I do work for. There does not mean that I uh, have garage codes and, and know where the spare keys are and do all that stuff and get let in by the housekeeper. But my main customer, I know what they look like. I know what the main part, it may be 30 or 40% of my entire company may be this one type of person, but if I'm going to create an ad, I'm going to speak to them the most, but then it also speaks to everybody else. So know who you're talking to. Build everything around that. And you have to know what they want. What do they want? Because a big thing is, and I talk about this all the time in route, is that if you go up to a route job, if you don't know route, it's like storefronts, right? You go up to a storefront job, you say, hey, my name's Jersey with XYZ Window Cleaning. Uh, I do this place, this place, this place. I'd love to do your job. Um, you know, here's, uh, here's our pricing for your job. And I shut up. That then triggers them to talk. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, sorry. We have a guy right now, but, uh, uh, man, yeah, he, you know, I don't know if he comes every month or every two months or just when he wants to. You know, he's, uh, he comes, I think, when it's really just nice weather, you know, or maybe if he needs the money, I guess. I don't know. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're the cheapest in town. We are the cheapest. I can get you the price on the, the lowest, you know, and, and uh, all that. And they're like, oh, well, all right, cool. That's all right. I didn't hear what they want. What they told me is only about the guy not showing up, not being reliable. They don't know when he's coming. That's what they've talked about. And because they've talked about it, that means that's what's in their brain. They didn't talk about price. They didn't talk about, we use only green, you know, green uh, soaps. or we don't. They didn't talk about any of that. Why are you talking about that? You're not listening. You're giving them your plea, your, your, your fake put together speech that you think people are interested in. You're not listening to what they want. Same thing with houses. Same thing with houses. You have to know what they want in order to tell them how you can help them. Everybody is willing to tell you their problems if you're willing to listen. The number one reason that anybody buys anything is to fix a problem or pain point. 100%. It just is. And you may be thinking, well, yeah, but, you know, window cleaning is not, it's a luxury. Well, yes. But their pain point is their windows are dirty. Their pain point is when they look outside, they see dirt and they don't see the outside. Their pain point is the Joneses next door got it done and they didn't. The pain point is, is that they clean their house or get their house cleaned or whatever and their windows always look dirty and they just can't do it themselves and they're over it. Their pain point is it's annoying to do windows. They suck at it and they aren't happy after they spend all weekend doing it. There's always a pain point. That guy who goes out there and buys that Ferrari or uh, Corvette, his pain point is that it's time to treat himself. He's never done anything for myself. I've finally gotten to that point where I think that if I get a Corvette, I've always wanted one. If I get to that point, I feel like I've made it. His pain point is happiness. He's striving for happiness. Midlife crisis, striving for happiness. They're striving for excitement. They're mundane, getting in the same over and over life. They want to get something out of it. Find out what they want in order to sell them what they want the biggest part of this whole thing is once you find out who you are selling to that what is really what it is you're fixing a pain point what do i want i want my free time back i spent all weekend doing this and i'm not happy well we're the cheapest you know we'll give you a 10 percent discount cool whatever no if somebody says you know every time i do this i leave streaks the sun comes up and it just looks terrible you don't tell them about your price. I heard what they want. 
oh man, yeah, that that sucks. It's really hard. You know, we kind of cheat a little bit because we do this eight hours a day every single day. And we guarantee against any streaks. You're going to see different suns. You're going to see the morning sun, afternoon sun, and, and night sun. When we are done, we guarantee you're 100% satisfied. Satisfied. We're 100% sure there's not going to be streaks. And if there are streaks, you just call us. We'll come back. None of your time. It does not take any of your time. You're going to have your weekends back. Right? That's what I'm selling on. I'm selling on the fact that we don't leave streaks. I'm selling on the fact that we do this all the time. I'm selling on the fact that our expertise is going to do this job and get it done. Because guess what? They told you what their point, pain point was. They told you what their, their, their problem was. Now it's just your job to fix it. Because they go, oh man, that would be really nice to just know that these windows are going to be clean. And the sun comes up and I don't have to see it. Perfect. Well, guess what? We're the company for you. I didn't talk about price. I didn't talk about discounts. I didn't talk about pairing service. I didn't talk about any of that stuff because they didn't want that. Do they maybe down the, the, the list of things want that? Sure, but you can't sell on everything. If you sell on everything, you're not focused on anything. Here is the thing. In a car dealer, we'll go back to that. If I go to a Jeep dealer... I'm a Jeep guy, I like Jeep. If I go to a Jeep dealer, I go to them because I want a Jeep. Are there also people who go to a Jeep dealer and buy some of the other stuff they have on the lot maybe from trade-ins and things? Yeah. But I go there for a Jeep. So everything they talk about is Jeep. All they talk about is buying a Jeep. There are other things, right? But I'm going there because of that reason. If I go to a car lot that's just a used car lot and there is nothing, anything, what do they have out front? They have their fanciest, nicest car out front on the corner to bring people in to find the rest of it. They have one thing that brings people in. They don't try to go, we have every car. If you want Chevys, come here. If you want Fords, come here. If you want, if you sell everything, you dilute it so much that people aren't they're not they're not finding that it's not their focus it's not fixing their pain point because there's so many other things it's just one of the little slices of their pain point so know what they want another one is what do they want need or have to get them to book the big part is people always go well i got these coupons that's why they book no well, I got these uh, these ads on my website. It's really good. That's you know what they when I go they go in and they do responsive bid. I love responsive bid, but no one's buying because of that. People book with you because they have a pain point. That pain point is then corrected, fixed, taken care of. That's why. That's why they book. Because they're taking care of the problem. People book to also get it off their plate. They got a hundred things. You know, one of the things, I just wanted to get a quick quote on uh, window cleaning. You know, we got to get it done. I'm just tired of, of, of the streaks and blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, I know the problem is the streaks. I know that that's what I'm focused on. But they also want this just booked and done. No one, no one but you and I care about window cleaning like you and I. I just don't. It is just a simple service that they have to book like buying gum at the grocery store. They just want it to be done and not have to think about it anymore. They don't be like, well, I'm planning on, on making this a whole week-long thing to try to find companies and go, no. Sure, there could be maybe an old person who really enjoys that. but right, They want it to be done. So what I'm going to do is I want them to have the easiest, fastest, most efficient booking process possible. I'm going to bid over the phone. I'm going to give them everything they want. I'm going to listen, tell them I can fix their pain points, sign here, here's the dates. My entire process, I'll give you kind of a, a watered-down quick version, is somebody calls and says, I want a, a quote 
Oh, great. Well, tell me a little bit about your uh, windows and uh, why you're looking to get them done. They're instantly going to tell me, right? Well, you know, we just have been doing it for a long time. It just takes me a really long time. I just can't seem to get it right. I know you guys use some special soaps probably and blah, blah, blah. Well, great. Well, let's get your address, get you a quote. Address, look everything, ask my questions. Cool. So your price is going to be $2.99. And yes, we do guarantee against those streaks. Uh, all of our soaps and equipment is absolutely top notch. We uh, love being kind of at the cusp of state of the art equipment. We love to kind of take pride in that. And it really does show in our work. That's why we have our 100% satisfaction guarantee. We also have a seven day rain guarantee. And of course, our smudge and streak free guarantee. Our first available appointment is actually Tuesday at 9 a.m. Um, I can book it right now for you. If you, morning's not your uh, not your digs, Wednesday I can get in at uh, 1 p.m. Uh, which one of those is uh, better for you? Does it does it matter either way? Oh yeah, let's let's do Tuesday. I told them everything. I told them I'm taking care of their pain point. Right? They streaks, whatever. But now all they have to do is say Tuesday or Wednesday, and the whole process is done. The whole process is done. They don't care about window cleaning. You care about window cleaning. They care about, ah, this sucks. I got to call this company. Let's just do it. Get it done. Get it over with. Let's do it. Right? Now you can keep them as a customer. But they wanted that to be done. They don't want to spend all day calling different places. If they call you, and you're like, oh, uh, yeah, let me take your address. And, um, yeah, I'll get out there uh, sometime this week. We'll uh, take a look. I can talk about it with you. And we... You've just taken their process, their pain, this pain-in-the-butt little chore they had to do, and you've stretched it out a week. Ugh. All right. Yeah, no, uh, if you can get here sooner, that'd be great. If They want it done. Be done because with the way that I talk to them or the way that I put it out there, of course... Not always am I right. I'm just telling you my opinion, right? But I'm going to get to that point where everything is done right there. If you just say yes to Tuesday at 9 a.m., it is done. You don't have to think about it anymore. Ah, oh, great. This stupid chore is, is done. Let's do it. What gets them the book? Fast, easy, fixing their problem. I'm going to tell them a price because they need to know it, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be unconfident about my price. I'm not going to tell them, well... Um, and you know, if you do book, I'll take 10, like if somebody's like, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you know what? I think, uh, probably talk to my husband. I know we want to get it done and, and, uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we book it right now, I'll take uh 10% off. We, we could, well, they didn't talk about price. Why are they talking to their husband? It's a process. Yeah, hey, if you're going to talk to your husband, definitely. Uh, we can still book this appointment just so that you don't lose it. Uh, we'll get that done. You can always cancel up to, you know, 24 hours in advance. But uh, what do you, what what issues do you think that he's going to have with uh, booking? What, what would he say no for, uh, just so I know? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know if uh, he wants. He probably is going to want me to do it, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you're doing a lot of other things, you know, you're probably the one doing you know the laundry and just making sure the whole house is running you know well this is just one thing that hiring professionals you just don't have to deal with anymore right yeah that's true and you know the result you know what let's do it let's go ahead with it right listening to what they're saying allows you to understand what they want which allows you to understand why they book right what will make them happy when they buy? That's another thing that people don't necessarily focus on. They're so worried about the next one. Oh, cool. Booked. Yep. Oh, great. Okay. Next call. Let's do this. Awesome. But what was the experience you gave them? Right? You have to understand what make, made them happy or what can make them happy with their purchase. You need to make them happy and keep them happy because it's a lot less expensive to keep somebody happy and going through you because the hard part's done. In order for somebody to say, hey, yeah, we've had you for the last five years. We just need to book another appointment. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to listen to anything. You're just booking an appointment. They know it. They know it. They've got it. They're happy with you. What was the experience you created 
with that customer. And you might ask, why does this have to do with how to get customers? Because the whole process from initial to repeat all has to be thought about. Because a customer, 1,000% of the time, a customer to you has to be an entire circle. It has to be the entire process. A lot of times people just focus on how to get the customer one time. If you were doing roofs, you were a roofer, those customers only use you once. That means that every single time that you book a job, you then have to go out and find another customer every time. A roofer wants to be done with the roof. A roofing company wants you to be done with the roof. When everything's done, you looked it over, looks good, perfect, let's pay, okay. Never going to talk to you again. But in our line of work, I want to have that customer for every three to every six months for eternity. Because if I have 100 customers this year, next year, I instantly have 100 customers And I'm building on that. I'll get another 100 customers next year. Then the year three, I'll have 200 customers. I don't have to do any work for those other 200 customers, right? This is how you're building an empire. You have to make them happy after they buy. Because what makes them happy after they buy is what also helps them come back. Listen. When you are done doing a job, they are ecstatic. How many people, think about this, how many people when you're done with their job are they like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh, there's so much light in this house. This is great. Right now, think about this. How many people have you had, you got all done. All right, we're all done. All right, well, I guess I'm closing the shades. You know, probably going to have a bunch of dead birds now, you know. Not one person you've ever done work for, unless you've jacked up the work, has been unhappy with what you did. That moment when they're like, oh, this is why. These windows look so good. I can't believe how clear you get them. They get them so shiny. That happiness is right then and there. Keeping them on that is up to you. Now, that is the how to get them to come back. You have to understand that they were happy that they bought. You made them happy. Well, what makes them come back? Hey, now that you know this is all said and done, uh, remember we have these guarantees, and if anything happens, let us know. Oh, they look great. I, don't, I can't see that even. Happen. Perfect. So uh, for your next appointment, did you want to do uh, three months from now, uh, which will put you you know, in uh, September, or did you want to wait a full six months, which will get you in the beginning of winter, probably around maybe February, kind of clean up that. Getting them to come back and book right now is the absolute best time to do that because they're ecstatic, they're happy, they're awesome, right? The best time to get somebody to review your product is right when they use it. Because the next day it is not as exciting or happy. They are not having the elated emotions that they did. The day after that is even less. A week after that, they've already forgotten about you. So booking them right then and there is awesome. We figured out how to make them happy. We made them happy. We know that they're happy with the experience. Now how do we get them to come back? You have to know what makes them come back. The feeling, the happiness, the excitement will keep it up. You never have to worry about it. You can have the same awesome experience next time. I'm telling you, do a dentist close like that. You go to the dentist, you don't leave the dentist without another appointment. But if you do that, you're going to close 75 to 90% repeat business with no extra work for the repeat. That's how you build an empire. You want to double your business from this year to next year? Just start doing the dentist close. Get them to come back already right away. Don't wait for them to call you. We're not forcing anything. We're a luxury. We want people to be happy. I have people who do 
their windows on their houses. I have one lady who does it every three weeks when I have my company. Every three weeks for, for years. Why three weeks? I don't know. It's a weird rotation. She did outs, three weeks. Three weeks later, ins and outs. Three weeks, outs. Three weeks in. Every three weeks, she was happy. Oh, man, this house. We have so much pride in this house. This is great. She loved it. She loved it. She would always tell me, she was right on a farm field. And she would, oh, man, I hate it. You know, every time you guys do this, I feel like, uh, you know, this, they, they till the farm. Everything gets dusty. It's like, ah, oh, you know. Yeah, hey, if we do this frequently, no matter when they do it, you're always within just a couple weeks away from getting your windows done again. You always know you're going to have clean windows. So even if they watch and wait for us and plow that field right after we do it, you know you're coming back in a couple weeks. Right? I'm speaking to them and make them come back. That job is how now I found them, I made them happy, I booked the appointment, they like me, now they're happy to come back. That is the circle of a customer. You have to figure out how to do that. That's how you get customers. You have to figure the whole entire process. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of WCR Nation, a window cleaning podcast. Uh, by the way, shameless plug again, I am a sales rep. That's why I do this, is to connect with you guys, to make awesome, awesome uh, friendships, to make really good relationships with you guys. If you want a rep, which I really hope you do, uh, please let me put all your orders in. I'm not looking for just big orders. I put every order in. It's what I do all day long. My number is 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. I have every single week somebody asks me about Patreon. I don't do Patreon. Let me put your orders in. That's how I make my money. Or American Window Cleaner Magazine. If you want awesome stickers, posters, awesome magazines sent to you every single month, that's how I make cheddar. That whole side of it is absolutely awesome. So go out there and get that uh, magazine, awcmag.com forward slash sub. You can join the sticker club. We have tons of people who are in just the sticker club. Or you can get the magazine and the sticker club, or you can get just the magazine, which comes with a sticker sheet every single month. So go do that. That is how you can help me. That is how you can kind of be like, yo, virtual high five. Um, if you want to do any of that, it's definitely appreciated. But until next week, go out there and understand how to get customers, but more importantly, go out there and be epic. <laughs>